Good morning. Wow, I just woke up. It's roughly around five o'clock. I made some coffee and starting to get uh, my lessons prepped for today. I'm sitting in my my man shed, and uh, this is where I teach from. It's a it's an interesting interesting area. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I created this about, I don't know, 15 years ago, back in my 30s. And it's been, it's been quite, quite useful for what I need it for. Um, I am a collector of old tube stereos and I was interested in this from a very, very young age because my dad had a really nice mid-century modern um, stereo console with absolutely beautiful components in it. And ever since I was little, I've, I've appreciated this type of stereo. Hey, you're back. People are still sleeping. The sun's just coming up. Uh, this is the outside of my man shed, my man space. And I have to talk a little, a little bit low because my, my daughter, my 11 year old, is still sleeping. And I've been using it to store all my musical equipment. So there's shed one. After I built this, my lovely wife Courtney, she, she got super jealous. You know, it's something you don't want as a jealous wife, so I built another shed. I'm going to show you that next. This is a side yard, and I've really come to love Ipe as a building material. So I build with found materials a lot of times, and most of this Ipe was repurposed, 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 because it's an expensive material. And I do all this work in my spare time. It's one of my hobbies. So not only do I bring to the table fine woodworking, but rough carpentry as well. And I show the kids everything that I do to show pictures of, the, of, of my woodworking so that they get an, an idea of what can be done with it, what you can do for a living, and how creative you can be with it. Um, I think as I progress as a teacher, the longer and longer I teach, I tend to teach to every child as opposed to trying to create woodworkers. Um, and what that means is I want kids to have enough confidence to take on large-scale projects on their own so that, you know, every kid, so that they can work on the house when they become adults. And I think that's one of the most important things that they will take out of this class. So they will learn um, a ton of woodworking skills and they can take it wherever they want. My other hobbies is aluminum trailers. So I have actually three of them. Um, this particular one is sitting in my backyard and I gutted the inside and made a, a bedroom out of it for my daughter Julia. Hey guys, we're back. Hey, I'd like to introduce my wife Courtney. Say hi. Courtney is a wonderful mother and Sarah, Sarah, come back. Oh, come on. Not this. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah just took up swimming. So there's Sarah, say hi. Uh, the reason I brought you in here is I wanted to show you what I'm working on. This has been a long-term project. About, oh, I don't know, two, maybe two years ago, I started working with soapstone. And I made this recently. This is about, oh, I'd say six months old. So that is a um, complete shelving unit slash backsplash for our oven. So I love working with new materials. And that's just one of the things I'm, I'm focused on right now. I made all the cabinetry in this kitchen and replaced all the flooring over the summer. So I will show you the floor. 
and I do a lot of different types of construction. So that was slate before from the 90s. I tore it out and I put uh, limestone in. Um, and I also talk about different trades, um, tile work, cement work, making concrete forms. I'll show you a couple more things. Just redid this bathroom about six months ago. So I gutted it completely. I just replaced everything, painted, redid the texture, learned a lot from it. Um, learned how to use Bex plumbing. So I did a, a lesson about six months ago on Bex plumbing for my woodworking one classes. And I also just redid our laundry area with soapstone. Uh, put in a soapstone countertop, added cabinetry, and that was about a week project. Hey again, this is a, it's been an interesting morning. I'm still writing a little bit of curriculum to start the day. Back, I'm back in my shed, and again, this is where I teach from. Um, so you saw a couple of things that I do, and I think the point I was trying to make is what I can offer your son or daughter as far as skill, a skill set to take with them when they, when they leave high school. Um, this is a really, really important th thing to know, in my opinion. Um, I get really excited when I light a fire under somebody and show them something and they start, they run with it. So that's me in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please email me. Projects that you want done at home, we're, we're in a situation where woodworking is extremely difficult to teach online. So what I'm asking of students is to find something that they can do at home and it could be any woodworking project or anything related to construction. Here's a perfect example. Last term I had a student that was struggling and his mom was really concerned about him. So we brainstormed together and he ended up painting the front of his house, um, stripping the wood and that's, that's totally related, uh, stripping the wood and putting a new coat of paint on it and it took them, I don't know, two or three weeks to complete. So anything that you need done, I'm here to offer advice to your son or daughter and they can get credit for it. So just let me know. Take care. Thank you.